Hi everyone, Angela here. You can make these cooling bands to wear around your neck, your head, or even wrapped around your wrist to help cool you down. I use these tiny micro water beads that are the size of a pinhead. Don't use water storage crystals as it'll seep through the fabric and become slimy. These beads are made of a water absorbing polymer that expand when soaked. To make the band, I cut folded fabric four and a half inches wide. Then from the fold, measure across 20 inches and cut. For a shorter band, you can cut 18 inches from the fold. Fold the fabric in half, matching the top edges with the bottom and press. Measure in one inch from the right bottom corner, then cut the fabric on an angle from this mark to the top corner. On the left side, cut tiny notches through those center folds. Then from the center, measure across two inches and cut a tiny notch through all the layers. Open up the fabric and fold it up in half with right sides together, matching the notches and all the edges. Pin the fabric together at the two outer notches. This is where we'll leave the opening. Then if you need to, pin or clip the rest of the edges and ends together. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. Begin by setting your machine to a shorter stitch length, number 2. Using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, start by back tacking at the folded corner. Stitch until you're 3 8 of an inch from the edge. With the needle down, lift your foot and pivot. Continue stitching and then back tack when you get to the first notch. Skip over to the bottom notch, back tack, and then continue stitching to the other folded end and back tack to finish. Trim all four corners, making sure not to cut the stitching. On the ends, open up the seam and press. Then press open a few inches on the long side. Separate the fabric and then use the point of your iron to press the long seam open without pressing down on the folded sides. Make sure the seams of the opening are also folded over 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter. Push in one of the ends and use a chopstick or a knitting needle to push the fabric up through the opening. Then use the pointy end to push out the corners before pulling the rest of the fabric through. Repeat for the other side and then adjust the seam so that it's right in the center and press the entire band flat. Find the center notch at the opening and then mark across the band. From the center, mark a line 8 inches on either side. Then mark a line down the center of the band between these two outer lines. Next step is to stitch these three short lines back tacking at the start and finish. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. The opening is now divided into two sections. Add a quarter teaspoon of beads into each side and spread them out down along the bottom edge. Next, we'll stitch along the center line, back tacking at the start and finish. You may need to feel and push the beads out of the way of the presser foot. Add quarter teaspoon again into each side and then edge stitch the opening closed. To activate it, soak it in cool water for about half an hour. The sections will get nice and full. I would just let the fabric dry out a little bit and it's ready to wear. When the beads evaporate and shrink, all you need to do is re-soak the band. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.